Robert Becker <laughs> with Pod Fund. You got the greatest new crowdfunding side, I think, that we have in this country. I mean, you, you have a place for people to get free money, literally, from the internet to do broadcasting on the internet. So if you want to have your own radio station or television station or whatever, you're the guy to know because you'll show them how to get money from the internet to make all that happen. What made you think of doing this? Exactly. Well, Matthew, I, I worked um, for in the radio industry for a few years in the 90s. Ah. <laughs> it was my dream. Top 40 or stuff? Or what? Top 40. Top yeah. 40. Wonderful. Uger yeah. jock, if you will. <laughs> we'll ourselves. Um, loved what I was doing, but got out of that field and, and moved into the real world. And and then uh, in the early 2000s, was intrigued by internet radio. And then a few uh, years later, got into doing some freelance voiceovers out of the house and uh, dabbled cool. slightly in podcasting. And had a, I thought it was just a really neat medium and thought it was a, a really cool way for people who made have always wanted to work in radio to yeah. have that opportunity but you have complete control over what you're yeah. doing and and within the last year when I started to formulate this idea it just seemed to seem to make sense I still have always had that interest in podcasting and even though I've moved away from radio and voiceovers and all of that and uh, I just really started to think more and more about the notion of trying to help podcasters and, and video creators out and, mm -hmm. and come up with a platform for them that is geared specifically to, to them and it's not some one size fits all mm -hmm. type of platform this is specifically for creators podcast creators or video creators or what have you and uh, you know I, I I think that this this idea is right on the money no pun intended but you know, <laughs> that this is a a perfect vehicle because you're mm. you're pulling in all of these these podcasts yeah. these these podcasters who all share this same vision they by extension have their own audience and right. you bring all these people together, and you're really starting. You, yeah. You've got the financial aspect to it, but there's a there's a visibility access as well, right. where you're, no, you're opening right, up because the audience to a lot a lot of people. What I think of is somebody like Rush Limbaugh, you know, who has a big audience. He writes a book, and it's all sell. It's the same thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if exactly. you have a podcast audience or something like that, so you're providing uh, like something for them to sell to generate revenue out of it and, and the person doing the podcast doesn't have to worry about credit cards or anything just yeah. going to the bank with the money yeah yeah and when i when i got into doing the freelance voiceover work out of my house yeah. i i invested a lot of money in some equipment and like i said i dabbled in podcasting so i kind of have a little bit of an understanding yeah. as to what some of the challenges were um f for someone who wants to move into this and and knowing knowing that podcasting doesn't exactly reel in all sorts of advertising <laughs> dollars, this is a way for people yeah. to live up to or fulfill their passion yeah. and, and perhaps improve on, on what they're doing. No, I think now, I mean, that, that's like my issue. I mean, I sold reference books for many years, made lots of money at it. Nobody buys a reference book anymore. So yeah. I still have a story to tell and it's very difficult. I don't think people have figured it out yet. You know, like, uh, 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 Washington Post is going out of business. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah. New York Times is next. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The uh, Wall Street Journal is on its last legs, and you know it's just that old media doesn't work because people aren't buying it in traditional forms. Yeah. So your form is a new form that people are getting used to uh, financing through that motive, uh, and, and so to take your idea and use that new form to finance it that you have. I mean, I, I think it's a natural and it, it's, I think what you're also doing is helping the country hear these voices, you know, exactly. And, and that they wouldn't normally hear. And it's a way to finance these new voices, you know, and then these voices don't have to go to some co big conglomerate and be told what to say. <laughs> exactly. Yes. You know, and, and, and to that end, there's a lot of really talented podcasters yeah. out there and they may not realize how talented they really yeah. are and that's what I think is really neat and there's there's some people who if, if if radio were a completely different industry and it wasn't so difficult to break into right there's a lot of people who could potentially work in radio and they may not even realize it right well no you're right because I'm sure they weren't trained to it they see something shrinking and it's hard to know but you're in something that's growing I mean, not only is crowdfunding probably going to be that 
next big thing and I think this country since the internet you know yeah but we still have you know this information we're living on more and more I mean the experiences I think we're buying less crap in the world <laughs> yeah. and buying more experiences and information the things that mm -hmm. come out of a podcast or a, a video cast or whatever you call them mm -hmm. you know video wise that and you're in the forefront almost pulling that you know, something like you will be pulling that for the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are yeah, you going to yeah, be in I other know. countries too or not? Well, right now we're, we're specific to the United States. And uh -huh. I, I would love to say that it's international, but, but the one <laughs> like I have New Jersey is, is international. <laughs> yeah. 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 There you go. I, I've got some hurdles that I need to clear as far as processing payments, but yeah. that's some stuff that we're working on. And yeah. Um, but we'll start in the United States and, and we'll grow from there. We're, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. So how long does it take now? Well, actually, now for the, the launch, you're launching May 3rd, uh, 1914 or 2014. Well, I'm an old guy. <laughs> March 3rd, 2014. Yeah. And uh, uh, so for that, you're looking for people to be on your front page on the opening because you're going to hit the ground running, right? And yeah. you've been building this momentum for weeks and months now. So people yeah. can still sign up to try to be in that front page when you when you launch, right? Yeah, exactly. And I, I actually launched the website. Um, there's, there's, there's been a couple phases to the launch. Uh -huh. It was just basically a placeholder web page where people were tantalized by <laughs> what this might be. I just did that to draw up some interest and obviously tried to uh, get some word of mouth spreading. We launched the, the website in a limited fashion. It was about 35 days ago, and oh. and and we we did that just strictly to start recruiting for campaigns. So so if there's a podcaster who's yeah. interested in in creating a campaign and they want to have the opportunity to be part of this launch um, on March 3rd, if they get their campaign in now, they have that opportunity to be their front and center on our homepage. Ah. And then come March 3rd, that's when all those campaigns that have been submitted will go live, ah. and we'll start to accept can or accept pledges rather. So now, from now until March third, people can sign up and get their uh, you know, their campaign all set up and ready to go when you pull the switch. And exactly. how, about how long? You know, how long? Is, you know, what's a short time it could take to get a campaign up and going? Yeah. You know, technically speaking, if someone has a video ready to go, and it yeah. really doesn't take much to sit down and shoot a, a mm. three-minute video to sell yeah. to people who who you want to solicit money from, but. But technically, you could have a campaign up and running in less than a week's time. Wow! Huh? Yeah, that's cool. And you know, and people spend you know months, years banging on the doors trying to get money, and here you could do it in a week's time. Uh, and really, the, I guess the biggest hurdle is sitting down and doing that video. You require a video, right, for the production? Yeah, yeah. Because mm. if if we're talking about the medium of podcasting or video right. or whatever. <laughs> you want to be it's, reading. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A, a static image isn't going to get it done. And yeah. quite frankly, I don't think people are going to be interested in giving you money if, right. if they don't know who you are and you're not talking to them. When, so. when you say a week, see, I mean, don't forget, I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking now that people are doing podcasts, they're used for performing, they're used to being in front of the microphone. So, I mean, it, to do a yeah. three minute video may only take these people three minutes to do the bloody thing, yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> because they've been talking. But you're talking a week because of the back and forth with you guys to get it all in i mean the actual time involved in putting the information they need for you together i mean that doesn't take a week's work right no no not okay. at all okay. no i when i when i say a week i'm thinking in terms of just what it might take to work with the podcaster and right. get the the details worked out and to make sure everything right. meets certain standards we just don't want to accept them as they come in and just right. let them go live we want to do, we, we do want to put them through a review process. Hmm. So in other words, if, if it talks a few hours or whatever it is to get it together, send to you, then you go back and forth and ah, you forgot this T and that I and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, 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 I mean, we want to do our best to present yeah. the podcasters professionally as right. well. So, you know, we no, it's a slick site too. I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, for a new guy in St. Louis doing this, you know, compete with the big guys. I mean, you look really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I really yeah. am. And, and so it's at podfund.com. So you, you could start giving money uh, on March 3rd to find programs to invest in um, or to support. But until then, 
take your podcast, your idea, or whatever it is, and apply to be a f- fundraiser on this, right? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. Well, Robert Becker, podfund.com. Thank, thank you for you. being there and thank you for pushing podcasts, you know, thank into you. a new record here. Thank you so I much. Appreciate it.